This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Selling a little or a lot? Do your thing however you cha-ching with Shopify, the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash offer 23. Bienvenidas al podcast Dos Bold Latinas. Aquí están sus hosts, Jat Nabreu y Josibel Madera Vialet, dos latinas feministas born en Santo Domingo y en New York. Passionate about Latina empowerment, Spanglish, learning, growth, and so much more. Hola mujeres, and welcome to the last episode of the year. Can you believe it's already December and that in just a few weeks we will be entering 2021? Tampoco nosotras. Pero bueno, as promised, on our Instagram page, we are dedicating this episode to discuss all about vision boards and we have partnered with Couch and Cork to do so. We will give you more information about this company and their services throughout the episode. We have a lot to share with you, so let's dive in. So, let's talk about what is the point of a vision board. It turns out that putting your goals on paper in a visual format can actually help you achieve them. In fact, a study called the Gender Gap in Goal Setting found that people who very vividly describe or picture their goals are anywhere from 1.2 to 2.4 more times likely to successfully accomplish their goals than people who do not do that. That's a big difference in accomplishing goals just from writing them down on a piece of paper or in this case, putting them on a poster board with cute little pictures. Also, it is a very fun arts and crafts project Um, so that will help you see what your goals would look like once you achieve them in the future. So what should you, um, should your vision board include? So think about the most important areas of your life that you are really trying to prioritize within the next 12 months. For example, your personal life, your professional life, health, finances, etc. you name it. Then set specific goals for those areas. They can be big goals or small goals. It's up to you. The possibilities are endless. You'll need inspiring images, pictures that make you feel like you will crush those goals and will motivate you to put in the effort to get them done. Give it a title. Um, think of it as, you know, your board. It's kind of like what? you, the things that you want to accomplish throughout the year, um, you want to name it something, or you could also just use a quote if it's hard for you to come up with a title. The point is to have something on, on that board that tells you what your year will be all about. And with the title, which I think is very important, um, we should probably, um, Like I know that last, I think three years ago when we first hosted a vision board party, um, obviously way before COVID, um, I was just talking to Rossi before we started um, recording the episode, but one of the girls at the vision board party was like, you know what, I'm going to, I mean, this is very, um, what, como se dice Rossi? Like, vulgar. Vulgar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, it's vulgar, so. Si hay niños, sápale los oídos, pero Censor. ella le... Right, censor. <laughs> so, ella le puso a su board, um, oh, boss ass bitch. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I was like, why did you name it that? She was like, well, because I'm claiming it. Like, next year is going to be my year, and I'm going to do so many things that um, that's why I want to call it, you know, I'm going to be a boss ass bitch. So, I thought that was cool that she named it how she felt that year was going to be for her. So, there goes that. 
Yeah, and to me, I feel like that really sets the mood. Like, if you have the title, you get in the mood. Like, you know what type of music to listen to when you're getting ready for the vision board, even when you're, like, putting it together. And before that, like, if, if you don't want to listen to music, because um, all of us concentrate in different ways. So it's just finding, a, you know, a, a spot in your home that you really like to unwind for the day or just or is it that is it where you go in the morning to meditate or whatever you do to focus so set set a time um some time to focus on yourself and for many of us that are mommies i know it's hard but we gotta do it especially we've been learning all this this entire year because it's very necessary to have that balance in our lives and Like besides that, you know, what is it that sets the tone? Is it lighting up some candles? I know that really helps, you know, the all the smell, the sensories there. And for many of us that love wine, so drinking some wine or your favorite drink. Yes, aquí está ya naciendo. Oh, my favorite. (laughs) Of course. I wasn't as much as a wine drinker, guys, until I really started hanging out more with Jatna. Porque and now you are. Cada vez que llevo a mi casa, me llevo una botella de vino. And then sometimes she's like, oh, let's have some wine. And we're like on a video call. She's like, you still have this? I'm like, yeah, I only drink it with you. And, 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 and you know, for, um, which is weird, we usually sometimes like when we're recording, just because right now it's a little early, which it doesn't matter because it's like, it's always five. Like, what is this? El, this five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Exacto. Um, we usually do have like a, a cup of wine next to us recording. So today was a little different. We, I don't know, we probably forgot, but it would have been a good time to. We just have a busy day ahead. Right. <laughs> so we wanted to focus and make sure that we get you this content out and, you know, get you pumped for your vision war. Yeah. So. To me, it would be the music. So set the moon, ladies, definitely. I feel like that's really the most important thing. Because I remember last year when I started writing Minds Down, I I was, I'm a night owl. So to me, I, I remember writing Minds at like one in the morning <laughs> in my notes. And that was for me setting the moon. Like my kids were sleeping. I just felt really calm. And, and that's like when I have the most creativity, the most ideas besides the shower. So, hey, if you want to <laughs> start thinking some stuff, but. Really think about it. Like, it's really important. And like I said, that title helps. And then goes into choose your board. So there's many different type of boards we could have. So it could be a whiteboard with magnets. That way it allows you to make those updates if you would like to throughout the year. It could be a cork board with pins, um, which also allows you to make updates. I know a lot of us love sticky notes. So you can have a board with just sticky notes. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, It could be also our traditional poster paper board and that's what we usually use yeah and we use those just because um for us um it's easier to have the which rosie will talk about this um a little later but it's easier to carry that you know throughout the house like Mm -hmm. and and just put it in places that we know like we need to see that to be able to remind ourselves that those goals still need to be accomplished or remind ourselves that oh i did accomplish that like I, I feel so good about about you know this year. Mm-hmm. I feel so good about myself that I was actually able to you know accomplish something I put on that board. So feel free to you know when you create your board and at least like what I do is that I um, check mark or mm-hmm. you know like a little X or whatever like what I've done so far just so that I know where you know how far I've gotten into accomplishing my goals and what are some of the things that I still have to accomplish and that. If I'm not able to accomplish, I can move on to the next year because I still want to be able to accomplish that. Right. And Jenna, that reminds me, I want you to inspire other women out there listening to us right now, because I know that you're probably like, oh, man, but I wonder, Jenna, what have you checked off your vision board this year under this pandemic? And I I want you guys to hear because you will be surprised at how much she has checked off her vision board. So, Jana, I remember we went through like a little exercise of what percentage we have done. And I remember yours is really high. So what percentage of your vision board do you have done? So I have to say that, um, again, for me, it works. I'm glad that we started doing this whole vision boarding thing because it has helped me accomplish so many things within the past three years that I, you know, every time I create a vision board, I do it with a purpose. And I know we talked about doing... um, 
you know, small goals or big goals. But for me, I always focus on the things that I know I'm almost going to accomplish. And it's kind of <laughs> like a given that I will be accomplishing it just so that it gives me that um, push. Yeah, the push. Like, yes, I'm going to do that. So for me, I think I want to say I accomplish um, 90% of the things I said I would accomplish. Oh, is that so? 90%. <laughs> so the things that I didn't accomplish, I will put on um, my vision board for 2021 to ensure that I actually get to accomplish that. And then there's some things that I put on the board that I wanted to accomplish in 2021, but those are things that in reality um, are things that are not in my control per se, like it's like, of you know, God's control. And so I have to, um, he has his own time. And so I have to wait for him, you know, to actually, you know, tell us or, you know, whenever we're ready that to, for that to happen, that's when it's going to happen. And maybe you already have like, kind of like a, an idea of what it is as, you know, as far as what I'm saying here, because there's just some things that you can't, you can put on a board, but it may not, you know what I mean? It may not happen as soon as you want it to happen. But yeah, for the most part, I accomplished, I want to say 90% of these things. And some of the things I've done, I've put on the board, I've continued to do, like, I think I put um, cleaning out my closet, maybe like twice a year. And I think I've, this year, I've done it <laughs> way more than twice a you year. Just had the time. <laughs> so, you know, and now I take it as a habit. Like, it's a habit for me to go into my closet and clean out the things that I'm not using and that someone else could, you know, use it better than me or put it you know if they're um if they're they're in need and things like that so yeah um and of and we did for those people that um are on instagram we do have an instagram account at those Bo latinas if you guys want to follow us we'll put a little um sneak peek to what i was talking about here but this is my vision board and um that's kind of what i was saying that i completed 90 percent of that so go into our instagram account and take a look at it yeah, you'll see, and you'll also see all of her past vision boards. <laughs> and you'll see, like, I was some, you know, I'm, um, my brother calls me Nosy Rosie. So I did look, I did, like, zoom in, Jana, to see them because I had not seen them. And, and I was like... I wonder if other people did that. <laughs> but you will see, kid, she has evolved. Like, at first it started out as, like, you know, like, boss and all this kind of, like, Things that you kind of see more on Instagram, it was more like a fun one, right? Am I right with that, Jenna? Yes, okay, yes, so you're that's absolutely that's right. That's like what I um observed. And I'm like, okay, and then you saw like it started getting serious and more serious. I'm like, oh, like she really has evolved. So guys, it's okay if you start out like just doing it for fun. Like if you just want to like just do it with fashion, like cute stuff that you like, but that's okay. Yeah. Like affirmations. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I, at first, I was more like... Affirmational. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> affirmation for sure. I was just like, oh, these are things that I wish that happened. And I wasn't really specific at all, but it still helped. Like, but that's it, a start. It was very motivational. And then the second mm -hmm. year, I was kind of like, okay, these are the things I want to do. And then I started to see that like I did accomplish those things. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, huh. This I should does work. <laughs> I know. And I was like, I should probably be more specific next time around. And so last year with the board that... um. I just shared and it's also on Instagram. I was very specific, like this, 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 and that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I focused on, like literally the entire year. And that's kind of how I went about accomplishing it. So with just being specific with the goals, it's a lot better than like, exactly. Motivation is great. Mm -hmm. And affirmations, like, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, do add it to your board, but mm -hmm. like, just make sure you're very specific as to what you want to accomplish. Yes. So it could be re attainable. Yes. And, Speaking of that, like, remember digital boards. Like, if you're saying, like, oh, okay, I don't really know how to start it out, but throughout the year, maybe I could tweak it. So you could start out like that, just broad. And then the more you start getting into it, you could, if you want to start with the digital one, that way it could be easier for you to update it. So you could create, like, a collage. You know, we all love Pinterest, as we say. Go on there and you could copy and paste snippet. And then you could... Just leave it on your monitor or you can print it. One that I love on that I didn't think of is having it on your phone. Like we open, we constantly have our phone. So have it as a screensaver or I can even go further than that to more detail. Like if you know that 
week or month you're working on something from your vision board, like take a screenshot of just that little part and that way you can have it on your phone every time you're like, and you're just, it's always on your mind. And it's like, since it's there, right and there's like the universe is working um, for you. But if you don't do a, a digital, I think that's a great idea. And we wanted to add it here because we know a lot of people are not as crafty and they might not want to mm -hmm. spend the time to like actually put together a cute little <laughs> vision board. But there's apps online for digital boards that you can use like you could use to create a collage like Rosie um, mentioned and then um, save that and then just say like just save it as like editable so you can always go back and like if you want to change things you can but what I wanted to say is that with your specific like your actual vision board that you create like arts and craft like the actual visual one mm -hmm. that you put somewhere to see <laughs> every day um, you can take a picture of that too Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. take a picture of that, make it your, um, which I haven't done that before. And I think I might do that this, this next year, like taking a picture of my entire board and just making it my, um, background on my desk, like my computer, my, um, work computer, because this is what I see the most every day. Um, going, you know, going to work and things like that. And I think that's a great idea just so that I have another place to, you know, to see my board. Um, if there's some, times that I'm not able to like look at it like in the bathroom or whatever if it's in my in, in my office I know that um you know if it's not available I can see it on my um on my desktop wallpaper right and like yes we heard a little bit about that the digital but let's move into like the fun stuff like I still yeah. feel like that's what brings it to life when you're do a, vi a vision board party I remember Janelle last year was like, oh, bring old magazines. And I'm like, I don't have old magazines. Pero there are people out there that have magazines. I do. So I still <laughs> get um, Vogue, I think. And okay. I used to get Cosmopolitan. And I mean, I don't necessarily read them because um, I don't really have the time to do that. Maybe I'd like page through them or whatever. Um, but I do save them because I know that every year mm -hmm. we get together to do a vision board party. And I know that we're going to need them. So that's why I keep them. So yeah, so... Start thinking about those people in your life that have magazines. But the other <laughs> thing you can do, though, like if you don't have magazines, though, um, you can also go into Pinterest and yeah. find all of your, you know, pictures, things that you're aspiring to do, whatever, whatever picture relates to the goal you're you're setting on your board. Just print out all of those images or those um, quotes or, you know, those motivational things like affirmations or whatever it is you need. You can just pop that into um, Word And then put it all together, maybe in one page, and then just print it out, cut it out, and you can post it on your, you know, paste it on your board. So that's another way. Yeah. And for us, there are so much on social media, like Instagram, that's, yeah. you know, it's all about picture related. Take screenshots of something that you saw, and if you want to use that, then, you know, you cut it out and you paste it, or if not, you put it on your digital vision board. So, yeah, get out your magazines or get out all of your digital, um, like, visual representation of your goals and then we did talk a little bit already of like where to put your vision board but do it strategically like it really has to be in that regular line of sight like to me I had mine in the kitchen <laughs> like on top of one of the cabinets and I'm thinking as I was hearing Jana she's gonna take a picture of vision board I should have because when she said oh um do you have a picture of your vision board <laughs> last year I'm like uh, it would be nice to Um, take one right now but my daughter my one-year-old kind of tore it apart <laughs> like she took off a couple of them and um but yeah I have for person I have mine's in the kitchen Jana says you've had yours in the closet or the bathroom well layer. now I have it in my office now it's your own <laughs> office so the, yeah the key is to look at it as often as possible and we already touched on that and that way it literally keeps you motivated because you know out of sight out of mind And with that, like we were saying, don't be afraid to make updates. Like li literally, like I never thought of making updates, but oh, mine's I remember because last year was my first one. It was a little bit kind of broad. And now I'm thinking like I need to be a lot more. Now you're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can actually make updates. So even though um, a vision board is a great tool to help you achieve your goals, You just can't forget about it and expect things to happen magically for you. Like you really, I mean, I mean, I mean, you really have to put in the work. So think of a vision board as a living thing. Check things off or scratch them 
off or even add more things or start over if that's how you that's how you end up feeling the thing is that you gotta is that's a visual representation of you and has to make you feel good has to make you feel like that badass latina that you are so it's like when we make our daily to-do list like don't you love that feeling that you get once you um, mark things off your to-do list is legit that's how you'll feel at the end of the year or mid-year when you're looking to your vision board so imaginate doing that All right, so now that you know all about creating a vision board on your own, let's talk about how you can take your vision board time to the next level. And one way you can make your vision board creation time more fun is by hosting something called a vision board party, where you have your closest friends join you to create their own vision boards. Trust us, it's super fun. Now, One idea we would like to share with you today when hosting a virtual party is to first set the mood, as Rosie mentioned earlier. And we would ask you to maybe set the mood with a virtual uh, one, wine tasting. And this would work whether you are hosting your vision board party in person or you are doing it all, um, all virtually, which we know It's probably going to be virtual um, this year just because of, you know, the state of the world right now. So hosting a virtual wine tasting can be so much fun. And this is where um, Couch and Cork comes in. Couch and Cork is a woman-owned business that focuses on empowering guests. So I love that because we both are aligned on empowering you ladies. And no matter where they are in in their journey with wine. Their experiences are like no other virtual wine tastings. They offer virtual educational wine tasting without forcing you to buy from them. You get to hang with their experts and learn 10 things everyone should know about wine or dive into a region, grape, or anything else. Ooh. Yeah, I love that. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so looking forward to that. Their traditional virtual tasting includes tasting five wines with one of their experts to learn about wine in a way that will have you feeling like a pro in no time. Wines will be shipped to your door and you will enjoy the tasting in the comfort of your own home. This 90 to 120 minute tasting is what makes Couch and Cork what it is and is beloved by everyone who's done it. Once you book, you'll get everything you need from them in PDF form They have other options as well. So make sure to check out their website, couchandcork.com, to learn more and host your own virtual tasting party. Yay. So once you have set the mood and have had some yummy wine, then you can move into your vision board shenanigans and have some fun with your friends putting your vision into a board. Yeah, bring it to existence. So definitely, I am super anxious for our live. So listen to that. We're going to have a Zoom party um, hosting a vision board um, party. So pretty soon, look out for that. It will be open to all of you. And we want you guys to share it as much as possible because we really want to learn also of who, how else do lady, do you guys do vision boards out there? And Again, this is something for us that we could all learn from. So let's make it a great one to start out the year. And then Pia de Lecho se dice. But yeah. <laughs> so I definitely, and and also on the Couch and Cork event, because I am, I don't really know about wine. So I'm super excited that also like we're going to be putting our goals into, into you know, like that visionary and we'll be learning about wine. So for all that I know, like all that I know is like bubbly sweet wine, John. <laughs> Which is what we love the most, like the anything Moscato, Rosé, you know, anything, um, Prosecco, like those are the best, at least for us. But we know there's like a lot more to learn from, you know, uh, about wine. So this is definitely something that we're looking to do um, next month, as Rosie mentioned. So just look out for that information because we mm -hmm. want to share that with you guys. Yeah. And by your amigas, tus tías, tus primas, todas tus mujeres <laughs> en tu círculo. Todas. I mean, they can live anywhere in this in this world. So make sure to follow us um, on, on Instagram, Instagram at Dos Bolatinas. 
Yes. And our pretty soon to come website. So we'll have details on there on how to get ready with more details of it. So I encourage you, I definitely, definitely encourage you to create a vision board that really does help you manifest your inner soul to become the best version of yourself. For example, I personally have only created one, like I said, but it really helped me reflect like, hmm, how do I really envision my life? Like, I've always been like, oh, okay, I'm going to go with the flow. And this is what I have to be doing if I'm at this point in my life. But girl, you really can design the life that you want. Like this year more than ever, I have noticed that. So it really does force you to embrace who you want to be. And when I see it, when I like, once you start looking at your vision board, it will really start holding you accountable because that's you'll have the urge and that way it won't, it won't be like pedos. You would give really give it a priority. And I mean, like I said, it's a personal reflection of who you are. So embrace it. It really does em- embrace you to be who you want to be and hold you accountable. I'm going to keep re- repeating that porque yo digo que es repetición. That's how you really... Um, it does. Yeah. That's like, how you get things. Yes done that's how you remember <laughs> things repeating 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 <laughs> so yeah and just want to close it with this ladies thank you so much for tuning on with us but as those were latinas i want you guys to remember especially after you guys supporting us for this past year i want to remind you like what is our mission and i really love of how we're going to be starting out the year and more showing you who we are with this vision board party because our vision is to empower latinas and this exercise really will Help you unleash the badass that you have in you. Recuerda, te tú eres la jefa de tu vida, así que start designing it. Hasta la próxima. Ciao.